Hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peak's Peak. Today, we're gonna talk about the eight things we love about our Kubota BX23S. So guys, if you're new to the channel, we are Peak's Peak Hobby Homestead and I am Lucas, and we like to share content about our Kubota tractor, about our homestead, our 38 acres, our animals, our shop, our car projects, our pond, all the things that we're doing around here. So if you haven't, be sure and subscribe, like our videos, comment, let us know what you think. Uh, we appreciate all the interaction and it lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job. So we have a 2019 Kubota BX23S tractor. I've got five, uh, 435 hours on our tractor now and we have used it for everything around our homestead. We bought this, uh, we bought this homestead in uh, about November of 2019, and we bought our tractor the very last day of 2019. So we've had it just about as long as we've had the land, and we have used it to help develop the property that we have here. So we're gonna tell you about the eight things that we love about this tractor. Now, the first thing that I love about this tractor is that it saves my back in everything that I do. I use this tractor and it keeps me from having to lift things that I shouldn't be lifting and it has saved me all kinds of pain and aches. This tractor can, with the loader, you can pick up five, six, seven hundred pounds pretty easy and move it around. We have fluid filled back tires and of course if you got the backhoe on then you've got plenty of extra ballast back there but the loader is perfectly capable of picking up about as much as you can put in the bucket and we use it for everything. It's kind of our uh, diesel powered wheelbarrow that we, that we use it around the farm. So if I'm moving feed, if I'm moving concrete blocks, I even used it to load up my tools out of the barn and take them over to the shop to get to work. So we use this loader to save our back and keep from having to do a lot of heavy lifting. Now, that being said, the front end loader is the main implement that I use to save my back. And that leads me to the number two thing that I love about our Kubota BX23S, and that is that you can take the loader off or put it back on in under a minute. You don't even have to leave the seat of the tractor to remove the loader. And that's a fantastic feature. Now, it's not without its little issues, and we've talked about those, but overall, it's a fantastic system. And if you bought your machine to use it for all types of activities, then being able to take the loader off and put it back on quickly is one of the handiest features of this tractor. I use it to mow my yard, but I'm mowing right up against the house. So I don't want the front end loader on there, blocking my turns to where I can't get close to things and all that. So I take the loader off, I mow the yard, I put the loader back on. No harm, no hassle, makes it super easy. So you can't beat the ease of taking the loader off and putting it back on. The number three thing that I love about the Kubota BX23S is the fact that it's small. I bought my tractor to be a lawnmower, mainly, but I knew that I wanted something that would be capable of doing a whole lot of other things. So, the fact that the tractor is so capable, yet it's small enough and light enough that I can mow my yard, even when it's muddy, without tearing up the grass, makes it a, a great asset to have around. Now, this is what makes the Kubota the butt of a lot of tractor jokes. You know, all your big burly cowboys with their 100 horse tractors love to say, nice lawnmower, and they think that's funny. I think it's funny. I mean, it is what it is. I bought mine to mow my yard, so they're not offending me, but I can tell you I've had more than one neighbor with their big 100 horse tractors call and ask if I would come up and do one of the small jobs they needed done because their big tractor wasn't capable of doing it. They each have their place. And that's what's great about the Kubota is it serves its purpose here on my small acreage just perfectly. And when it comes to the small size of the Kubota, what also makes this great is its maneuverability and its agility. It's perfect for my trails. I want ATV trails. I don't want vehicle trails. So I want them to be relatively small, four foot, five foot wide. So this is perfect to build tight trails and it gets in and out of those tough places really easy. And I like that about the small size of the Kubota. Number four on my list is the comfort of the tractor. I find the seat to be pretty comfortable. It's got some adjustments to 
lean the back forward and backwards the armrests are good everything is kind of in the right place for me so it fits my size really well i like the fact that the loader controls are mounted on the tractor right up next to the seat so it's really easy to use right there sometimes flipping the seat around can be a little bit cumbersome but i like the fact that it is one seat and not a separate seat for the backhoe so everything about the controls and the ergonomics of the tractor I think work well for my size. It's easy to get on and off of. Everything is easy to use. So I like the ease of use of the Kubota BX23S. Number five on the list is the backhoe. And this is a big one. I could have saved this for last. I could have made it number one, however you want to look at it. But the backhoe is one of my favorite things about the Kubota BX23S. And I know a lot of people are on the fence about whether to get the backhoe or not, whether they'll use it. I never was because when I saw that it was available at the price that it is, I knew that it's something I would never own if I didn't buy it as one whole unit. And of course, you know, finance the whole thing together and all of that. And I am so glad that I did. It has made so many projects possible here on the farm. We ran plumbing and electrical to our barn when we first moved in here. We got all of that dug. We've dug drainage ditches. Then we ran electrical to our new shop by digging the trenches with the backhoe. I've helped out numerous neighbors dig out stumps and dig ditches for different things that they needed. I've helped friends and family find water leaks. I've done projects at the church building where we run electrical to the sign. All of that was made possible because I have the backhoe here and ready to use. And some people say, well, you could go rent one if you need to do a job and you'd save money. And that may be true, but would you? Most of the time you're just gonna say, well, I can't do the job, I don't have a backhoe and you put it off. But when you have it here, then you're more tempted to get stuff done. And that's what I like is getting stuff done. So I am so glad that I had the backhoe. Another great thing about it is, is that it's really easy to take off and put back on. In five minutes, you can have the backhoe off or on and probably in less time than that. So it's a great implement. And if you're going to buy a small size Kubota tractor, spring for the backhoe, you'll use it. Number six on my list, for the Kubota BX23S is the power. Now, this is a 23 horse uh, diesel engine, and to me, it has the perfect amount of power for the size of tractor and the things that you should be able to accomplish with this tractor. I normally run out of traction before I run out of horsepower and bog it down. Um, I would say all of the things that you do are limited by the implements and the strength of the things around you, mainly, the horsepower is a good match for the size of the tractor and the size of the implements that you use on the tractor. And I've never found myself wanting more power or wishing I had stepped up to the next size tractor because I'm looking at the whole picture all at once and it works out just great for me. I run a five foot tiller, a five foot box blade, a four foot bush hog, and of course the backhoe, I've got a good size 60 inch disc that is way too big for this tractor that I pull with it sometimes to do food plots and that sort of thing. But I have found it to be perfectly capable of doing all of the things that I need to do. I've ran that tiller and I've tilled up lots of ground and lots of garden plots with that tiller and had no problems. I pulled the five foot box blade completely full of dirt, had no issues with that. So the power of the BX23S I think is great for this class of tractor. The number seven thing that I love about my Kubota BX23S is the reputation and the value of this tractor. The fact of the matter is I bought this tractor almost three years ago and the resale value at this point is more than what I paid for. it. At the time that I purchased this tractor, I did a lot of shopping around and I was able to purchase the Kubota BX23S for several thousand dollars less than the same level, same implement tractor from, well, really any other brand. I got quotes from LS, John Deere, um, even the Rural King, the RK brand tractor was going to cost more by the time you factored in the financing that was available. It was going to cost more than the Kubota, which is unheard of. And all you have to do is look at the selling price of these tractors right now, new versus ones that are five, seven, eight, ten 10 years old and see what they're selling for. And you know, 
Kubota's reputation precedes itself. They hold their value well, and that was a big selling point to me. So that's the number seven thing that I love about this tractor. The number eight thing that I love about this Kubota BX23S is the versatility. This is the Swiss Army knife of tractors. And like I mentioned before, people want to crack jokes and say nice lawnmower, but that's what I love about it, the fact that the that it is able to do so many things. It can mow my yard, but it can also till my garden and bush hog my fields and box blade my trails and dig trenches for my plumbing and my electrical. It does so many things and it does them well. Now it's not the best excavator, it's not the best tractor, it's not the best lawnmower, but it does all of the things that it does well. And that's what makes the Kubota BX23S, my choice. So when I go through that list of projects that I've been able to accomplish with this Kubota BX23S, all I have to say is, can your lawnmower do that? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.